or documentary is on the Actinaria, most commonly known as the sea anemones. The sea anemone is a part of the phylum Nadaria, class Anthozoa. There are more than 1,000 species of sea anemone located in deep and shallow waters all around the world. The most common anemones are the aggregating anemone and the green giant anemone found in the San Francisco Bay. Although sea anemones may look like plants, they are soft-bodied animals. They are sessile polyps that can only move short distances. Some can swim slowly by bending back and forth, but mostly stay in the same spot. They use their adhesive foot called the petal disc to attach to rocks, mud, and shells. Anemones vary in size from less than an inch to over two feet long. They can have anywhere from a few dozen to a few hundred tentacles surrounding their central mouth. The tentacles expand and contract into their body cavity. Sea anemones are present across the world's oceans from tropical oceans to the polar regions. Found in the deep oceans and shallow coastal waters and upper intertidal pools, some species of sea anemones are exotic and all species are endemic to their habitat. They do need moderate amounts of sunlight to survive. Sea anemones are predatory animals that feed on crustaceans, mollusks, sea urchins, worms, phytoplankton, and zooplankton. They suck in water to make themselves bigger so they can adjust their prey and digest them. They also use their stinging cells on their tentacles to paralyze their prey and bring them towards their mouth. In contrast, they are typically preyed upon by sea slugs, starfish, eels, and certain fish. The two ways sea anemones reproduce are through sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. In sexual reproduction, the polyps release egg and sperm cells into the water through their oral cavity. When the gamete cells join together, the fertilized egg develops into a planula larva, which will develop into a polyp sea anemone. During asexual reproduction, the offspring is identical to the original parent. This method is called budding. Budding is where the parent sea anemone stretches along the base and splits into two. The sea anemone parent has now produced a clone of itself. The smaller detached piece will regenerate into a polyp sea anemone. The relevance in society that sea anemones have is through research. Some researchers are using the venom from sea anemones to fight cancer cells, while others are looking into the antioxidant activity generated by the sea anemone's adhesive component. Sea anemones are one of the most venomous animals in the world known to be rich in toxic proteins and peptides. Similar to jellyfish, anemones possess stinging cells on their tentacles that they use for feeding and defense against predators. These stinging cells are called nematocysts, which play a particularly important role in prey capture. The nematocysts are found in, ten in the tentacles which have small vesicles filled with venom as well as external sensory hairs. A light touch of the sensory hairs triggers the harpoon-like structure which injects venom into its prey and paralyzes it. The symbiotic relationship between hermit crab and sea anemone is commensalism. The benefit exchange between the two organisms includes phoretic, trophic, and defense benefits. Phoresy is when one organism attaches itself onto the other. In this case, the hermit crab will detach the anemone and mount it onto its shell. The attachment to the anemone will provide a defense mechanism for the hermit crab. The stinging tentacles will protect the hermit crab from prey. The trophic benefit to the sea anemone will be the ability to consume the scraps of food that the hermit crab discards as it eats. 
To summarize this documentary, we can see how these soft body marine animals can be found throughout the world's oceans and how they play an important role or ecological niche in the coral reef community. Although sea anemones are predatory animals, they also act as homes for other reef animals such as clownfish. Since they come in various forms and shapes, clownfish use sea anemones' tentacles as a home to hide from predators. And due to their colorful appearance, sea anemones are named after and resemble flowers, but they are invertebrates. This is why they are sometimes referred to as the flowers of the ocean. And as you can see here, we show a video of a clownfish swimming through the anemone's tentacles.